Hello guys, this is Elise from Amaranth. You are watching Spark TV. Metal in action! Spark TV. Metal in action. Welcome. Thank you so much. For How are you? I'm actually pretty okay. Not uh, could be better. I have a cold. What is to sing with cold? It's really, it's a little bit annoying because uh, it blocks the ears. Yeah. And that's the thing that bothers me. But uh, I don't care so much about the. My voice sounds a little bit different, but I think it's gonna work. I hope so. But you are a fighter, I think. Oh yes, I am. <laughs> and uh, yeah, <laughs> you're very right. <laughs> Because we have to say that this is your new CD, so how you were enjoying this uh, making of the CD? Uh, it was really nice, actually. I always enjoy writing music. Okay. And um, um, it brings me back a little bit to like some of the first songs I was part of, writing like Automatic and yeah. you know the, these songs that makes you kind of wanna. Yeah. It has a message, but it's also hidden behind like words people recognize and makes you want to jump and dance and yeah. move yeah. Yeah. A, a, a bit. But also we have like very deep uh, like power ballad which I also totally. would probably not be brave enough to write five years ago. But now I feel like I have so many emotions and very much love towards the fans and I felt like I was you know mature enough to present a song like that. Are you talking about Limitless? Yes, actually Limitless and Endlessly. Yeah, yeah, Both yeah. of them are, like, personally very... Yeah. That was not possible to do it before. No, but I think, like, we didn't... For, before it was more like we wrote about digital things and the future because we were not so happy with the, the life. I mean, like... Okay. They were... Yeah, we always, you know, wanted, wanted to fight for a better future and also our own success, which mm -hmm. likes going up to the top, never <laughs> stop, never go. You know, it's all about ourselves and where we want to go. And uh, now it's kind of like we have the audience, we have the people, and what would we like to give them now was what we were, were thinking about. And then it was like, yeah, but they already got the message, you know, yeah. about all these like uh, complaints about digital things or like, no, no drop this in a girl. And like, we've done those massive addictive, I love that album. But uh, so this album is different in the perspective that we are much more personal. Yeah. And uh, I didn't have that kind of confidence before we had this kind of audience. So it's all because of the fans. So we thank you very much. Of course, many people are discussing about your maybe style and so on. And what about on the song? That's oh. On that song. That song. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Let them. laughs> uh. That song. That song. That song. We can cut it, but that <laughs> song, you're right? No, you should not cut that. That's funny. It, yeah, that's funny. Nobody's perfect. Nobody not even is. you. Oh my god, I thought so. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm, every time I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but you actually, your English is very good. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, no, but uh, yeah, that song. It, yeah, but that was also like. It's funny because we always. Uh, when we make the demos, yeah. it's usually how they sound, actually. Mm -hmm. Like that song. It's just the guitars and then a little keyboard which represents the melody or the chords and then the drums and then the vocals but you know instead of making things so complicated which we also of course love okay. because we're musicians and artists and we like to <laughs> <laughs> do it it was actually mostly a challenge for ourselves to make a song that simple so it actually was not like yeah, let's do it pop or let's do it blah blah. It's like actually it has its soul in soul and blues. Yeah. Yeah, okay. and it's a little bit like ghetto style, but uh, and of course that's not maybe the kind of you know way we have showed ourselves before. But that was also part of the thing. It's like yes, but we're also humans and we also you know grew up in the hoods <laughs> and we actually have these kind of experiences or like you know from back in the days from school when we had this big dream or like uh, we had extra jobs. I actually was working in, in a kitchen like that, you know, I was making the dishes and I don't see there's a problem for that, but I was there and I had my big, big dreams. So this song kind of represents, you know, how it used to be back in the days. Did somebody tell you that uh, in this song you are singing a little bit like Rihanna? 
Yes. Yeah. And it's very fun because I always had the same kind of tune. Tune. Yeah. Oh, but it's only when I sing those kind of melodies that you can hear that. <laughs> yeah. So actually, the truth is that when Rihanna released her umbrella, mm -hmm. everybody was texting me. And my sister's friends were my calling me and being like, oh, congratulations, Elise, for your single. It's so cool. The song is so good. I was like, what are you talking about? And everybody thought it was me. Really? Playing, yeah, singing Umbrella for the banner. You have my heart and we'll never be worlds apart. Hard time living in the city. Broke my mind, I was trying on a Yeah, I was checking your Facebook, I have to say it. Yeah, I was checking because... Um, yeah, we have to say that I'm a big fan of uh, Alisa from Arch Enemy. Oh, yes. how, how big friends you are together? Oh, I would say that, I mean, I would say that she's a very good friend of mine because we tour together and when you tour together, it's like living together. Mm -hmm. So uh, you get to know each other very well. And we did several tours together and we keep in contact as often as we can, I'd say. Um, and. Uh, also, she like came to my place in Gothenburg and borrowed a few clothes and jewelries for her first video shoot with Patrick in Gothenburg. I remember th that very well. And I guess you could you wouldn't do that if you were not really good friends. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh. Really? You are great friends now. Yes, we are great friends. Yes, yeah, yeah. But uh, can we expect you on on her uh, solo album? Oh no. No. She didn't ask me. Hey, Alyssa, you have to watch it. I know you are watching. <laughs> um, I'm not disappointed at all, actually. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think she's great and it's good that she does her own thing. And she doesn't need me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll see, we'll see. But of course, I have to ask for fans, what happened with Jake? Oh, he wanted to focus on other things. Mm. And he, I guess it was just like, uh, he started already last year by not following us to the US because he wanted to be home with his family. Maybe he already started something then, I don't know, but maybe he reached a part where, a point mm -hmm. where he just had to break with the past, set the nexus free at last, or something. And that's what he did. And we are not the ones who, you know, to stop him. Okay, so you are thinking about the new singer? Uh, that we have not discussed yet, because okay. uh, I'm not 100% sure yet like how we're going to do it for the future. Because mm. uh, we've been constantly on tour and he's not here and we haven't been able to speak properly about it. And I guess there will be some more information regarding that yeah, yeah, in the yeah. future. But I have to say, I think that uh, Chris from Smash Into Pieces is a great guy. I know, he's lovely and I actually like him very much as a person as well, which is very important. And his singing is amazing. Yeah. And he's a funny guy and yeah, great friend. So And he did great in the US and he's doing awesome on this tour as well. So of course it would not feel like odd if he would, you know, tour with us for the next mm. future. And then when it comes to, you know, planning the whole future of Amaranth with new record deals, probably, you know, new releases of new music and albums and all that. Oh, let's see, but I mean, I like Chris and it's nice that, to hear that you like him as well. Yeah, that's a great message for guys. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. So thank you so much, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good luck in the future, of course. Good luck with the, this new amazing record. Everybody have to check it. So see you soon and stay tuned. Nejnovější CD od Amarante Maximalism nakoupíš na www.sparker.cz Spark TV Metal in Action